one in England and he was hey, it rescued. Worked. It worked. It worked. We'll be back. OnStar now offers a safer way to make calls on the road. Personal calling. Call Vicki Vale. Hello? Things are heating up. Now, by the entire ABC network, uh, Good Morning America was in progress in the East Coast and the Midwest, but we're joined by the entire network just to show you some pictures at the foot of New York City. This is at the World Trade Center. Obviously, a major fire there, and there has been some sort of explosion. We don't fully know the details. There is one report, as of yet unconfirmed, that a plane has hit uh, the World Trade Center, and you can see that there is smoke there coming out of at least two sides of the building. And as you said, there are two towers, the tallest structures in Manhattan, on the island of Manhattan. We're trying to get people on the telephone to see what more we can learn. We have no idea if it was a plane, was it in any sense deliberate, was it an accident? It does seem to be that there is considerable and, and truly terrifying damage on some of those floors at the top. Th this angle is a little deceptive. As you know, there are two Trade Center towers, and the second tower there is hidden behind uh, the first. This is uh, really almost the picture postcard of New York City. Um, it's the, uh, that and the Empire State Building, I guess, are the two most recognizable symbols of New York. There you can see uh, the two, well, we had there for just briefly the other angle of the World Trade Center towers, but this is uh, confined to one of the towers on the upper floors. Uh, these buildings, uh, I think they're 110 stories each, so this would be in the... Uh, in the top 15 or 20 floors there. You mentioned earlier that, of course, as we all know, years ago there was that terrorist attack. It took place down on the ground and in the underground levels and the garage levels. Uh, but again, that's not to imply that we have any reason yep. at this point to believe that this is, this is terrorism or not. We simply don't know. And in just a few minutes, Peter Jennings is going to be joining us from the news desk uptown where he's going to tell us everything that he knows. We also have Don Daler on the phone, and you know he's been with us on Good Morning America for a long time. And Don, where are you, and what do you know? I'm about four or five blocks just north of the World Trade Center. And uh, at about 10, I would say 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, there was a loud sound that I, I can only describe as it sounded like a missile, not an airplane. Then there was a loud explosion, and immediately lots of screaming out on the streets. Um, and I don't want to cause any speculation, but that's the only way I could describe the sound. And it, and it was definitely not the sound of a prop plane or anything like that. And am I right? Are you a pilot? Well, I have flown. I do not have a pilot's license. But I, I grew up on military bases, and I know the sound of jets. And, and I have been in war zones and, and heard those kinds of different sounds. So again, not to cause any kind of undue speculation, but. The sound itself was not of a prop plane. It was perhaps a jet, but it could have been a missile as well. Can, can you give me, was it, was it a whining sound, Don, or what? Yes, it was a, it was a uh, how to describe it? It was a high-pitched, but it had a, 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 a whooshing sound, not, not like a prop plane. Huh. And you didn't see anything, actually, in the air? No, I wasn't looking out, but we looked out immediately. You can see quite a lot of damage. Uh, it, if it was a, an airplane, it had to be huge because it hit way up in the World Trade Center. It w I would say it's probably uh, probably a good five, six of the way up to the top. Mm. There's a considerable amount of flame. There's damage on two sides that I can see. On the very north-facing side, there's where it looks like is the largest amount of damage. There's a gigantic hole that encompasses a number of floors. I would say maybe 10 to 15 floors. And then on the left side, which would be the east side, there's considerable damage as well and lots of flames and smoke coming out of it. You know, I, I don't know that people outside New York realize it, but these two buildings are essentially cities in and of themselves. I mean, there's 30 to 40,000 people, if I remember the number, and I'm doing this from memory. Yes. Number of people who actually work in these buildings, and this obviously occurred at the time that people were coming to work. Don, are you saying that this sound was striking enough that you heard I, it before absolutely. you saw it? I noticed it before the explosion. I noticed a very, a sound like something was very low and shrieking across the sky. And then I heard the explosion. 
And which of the two towers is this? Because, again, we're just seeing an angle that's a little deceptive. This is the West Tower. Mm -hmm. Now, we're hearing, uh, we're hearing somewhat uh, faintly in the background, Don, as you talk to us, uh, sirens. Are there a lot of emergency vehicles already on the scene? Yeah, they're descending. This part of New York City has quite a few emergency stations uh, all over, and I'm, I imagine it sounds like they're coming from every one of the stations. In fact, there's one just down the street that sounds like every truck they have is, is headed that way. We, we see, actually, uh, we see two faces. I know you can't see the picture that our audience is seeing, but we see two faces of that tower. One seems to have a rather gaping large hole in it. Uh, the other face seems to have two holes in it. Uh, it's all somewhat obscured by smoke, one large, one, one somewhat smaller. Right. And, of course, we know there are a variety of offices there. There are financial offices there. There are advertising offices, all kinds. We can only hope that since it is still a little bit early in New York, that maybe, that maybe on some of those floors, some of the offices were still not open for business. You can now see there on that one side, if, well, you can see flames now coming actually out of two sides uh, of the building. And I, I'm uh, minimizing, actually, the number of, uh, of openings that are on those uh, two faces of the World Trade Center. There's multiple it looks like uh, holes with fire still going on uh, yeah. on on both sides of the tower as we've heard uh, before we said earlier that there was at least one speculative report that an airplane had crashed in whether deliberately or accidentally we don't know and they are continuing reports from people who say that that they saw an airplane one woman saying that she saw a jet going in so again don a jet screaming that low could be consistent with what you heard absolutely it, it could be consistent with what i heard what i know I, I i did not hear was an airplane any kind of a prop plane and i think looking at the damage i don't think there's any way possible that it would have been a pop mm. prop plane it's just too much damage to the building mm. it, it, what's deceptive about the world trade center is that it is so huge and so tall that the perspective is difficult to get from the ground but when you look at the, the size of the hole, and if you look in, in context at one of the helicopters going around at a lower size, a helicopter is about the size of a regular Cessna, that kind of thing, the body of the plane. The hole is so much larger than and that helicopter that it, it would have to, if it was a, a, a jet, I would, I would have to speculate that it would have to be a larger than normal jet. I mean, a, larger than like a, a Citation or something like that. It's just such a gigantic hole, and it blew out the other side and again these are these buildings are almost a city block size building so for it to have blown in this hole on the on the north side as well as the west side it had to be a, a gigantic explosion well obviously we don't know if this was if, if it was a plane and i and underline if it was we don't know if it would have been deliberate or accidental we know so little now other than what we can see from these pictures but the interesting point is there are a number of small airports around New York uh, where uh, passenger uh, corporate jets or private jets uh, will land and take off. And it's not uncommon, if you have ever visited the World Trade Center, when you go up to the observation platforms at the top, uh, you can look down on airplanes that are either coming in for landings or taking off uh, from New York airports. But all pilots who fly in this area know very well where the World Trade Center is located all the routes are very far or comfortably far away from the two towers. And not just private planes, too, because with some winds and some directions, even out of the big commercial airports, planes are routed quite close to New York. I've flown in from LaGuardia, even into LaGuardia, but having to go right by the World Trade Centers.